Hey guys, it's Chris here from Pi Supply. Today's unboxing video, we're going to take a look at the Just Boom Digi Hat. We're also going to show you how to assemble it to the Raspberry Pi as well. So, the Just Boom Digi Hat is a digital hat for the Raspberry Pi. Um, so, basically, outputs uncompressed audio, uh, digital audio to the, from the Raspberry Pi, outputs to optical and coaxial as well. Um, so it outputs up to 192 kHz, 24-bit, uh, um, it's low jitter as well, uh, so you shouldn't get any loss of, uh, loss of audio. Um, usually you connect this to, from your Raspberry Pi to uh, AV amplifier. I think most people are using it to connect to their surround sound system or something very similar. Um, so without further ado, I'll do that again. So without further ado, let's take a look and see what we've got inside. Uh, so first up, we've got a Just Boom sticker. I think we've got another one somewhere, there we go, Just Boom logo. We've got a Just Boom information card. So there's a web link on there uh, to the web to show you how to get started. Uh, if you want some other product information, further information, you can go to that web link there. Um, we've got a card from Max2Play. Uh, there's also a license code on the back, um, so you can try it out for 60 days or so. Uh, there's a web link at the bottom, you can visit that web link for more information on that software. Um, there's also a little information card there. So that just shows you how to set up the Raspberry Pi uh, with Just Boom. And there's also a voucher code in there as well. Um, so we've got some standoffs in here. Uh, so you need to use these to mount them to the Raspberry Pi, which I'll show you shortly. Um, it does come with an uh, infrared LED. <coughs> um, so basically, you can solder this to the hat board. Um, this will allow you to control the Raspberry Pi. Um, with the DigiHat, it won't allow you to control the volume uh, since it's digital. Um, but you can control um, sort of the next song or next movie or things like that. Pop that in there. <coughs> We've also got uh, information from Rune Audio or Rune Labs, sorry. Um, so Rune Labs is uh, some audio software that you can use with the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's compatible with our Just Boom boards. Um, so it's basically a step-by-step -step quick guide on how to get started with Rune Labs. Uh, you can also try it for 60 days for free as well. Um, so let's take a look at the DigiHats. So as you can see, it has a Wolfson chip. I think that's a Wolfson chip. Yep, so a Wolfson um, digital audio chip there. Um, it also has a 40-way header. Um, so not all the GPIO pins are used by the hat board itself. Um, if you want to find out which pins exactly, you can go to justboom.co. Um, if you go to sort of the technical guides area, you'll be able to find the pinouts um, for this hat. So you can see the board here, um, it has optical output. Um, you'll want to use a fairly, not too long cable. I would probably say anything less than two, two three meters is fine. Um, also has a coaxial output as well with a isolator. Um, so this just stops any interference from the um, board itself getting through the optical cable. Um, also the infrared uh, LED will be soldered to the, uh, you can see the pins there. Um, so you basically just slot it through. Uh, make sure it's the right way around. You don't want to get it the wrong way around. Um, so the infrared LED should always be pointing out towards the board. Oh, out away from the board, sorry. 
So you basically just slot it in like that and then just solder it underneath and then just snip the uh, legs off. Um, if you want to find information about how to set up the infrared LED, uh, you can find that on our website as well. Um, so that's it for the features of the board itself. Um, in terms of software, um, there's a, a big selection of operating systems that support our boards. Um, we've got our own Just Boom player. Um, we've got Volume O, Diet Pi. Uh, it's compatible with LibreLec, uh, OSMC, um, obviously Mac, Max to Play, Rune Labs, Rune Audio. Uh, if you go to the website and software section, you'll be able to see a full list of operating systems. Um, so let's go ahead and connect it to the Raspberry Pi itself. Um, so here I've got Raspberry Pi 4 here. Um, so it's always better, I find, if you just connect the standoffs to the Raspberry Pi board first. Uh, so I'm going to do it this way. If I just get more out there. There we go. Um, so just pop the screw through the bottom of the Pi board. Uh, if you just hold it with your finger, you should be able to just screw the, the stand stand up straight on. We can tighten them up after if you like. So I'll just do the other ones here. Uh, so next up, we just need to uh, slot the board over the GPO pins here. So once it's on like so, just push it down as far as it can go. Make sure it's firmly in place. Uh, last but not least, just need to screw the, the remaining screws on the top. Uh, so if you just slot them in first. And that's the DigiHat assembled to the Raspberry Pi. So if you have any questions about today's video um, or you want some further information about the DigiHat, um, you can pop them in the comments box below or you can go to justboom.co and contact us via the website. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you then.